name is Casey. The comments is having us film some short sequences on specific yoga poses. And today I'm gonna concentrate on Padi Vistasana, different forms of it. So Sutta and Pita, standing up and lying down. Um, that's really focusing on the hamstrings and getting into your body. So let's get started by lying down. I'm gonna suggest a strap for lying down. You don't have to, I'll show you basically three different kinds of you can, you can, ways you can do this pose modified versus the whole shebang. So because you're warming up, I suggest a strap. But again, not everybody has straps at home. So we're laying down, Supta Tadasana, before the strap and all that. Just let your back settle into the floor. Mm. Okay. So lift your right leg up to a bend. You're either gonna Peace finger to the big toe, palm faces away from your body. Grab it. Pull the knee towards the floor at first and then straighten the leg towards the ceiling. The other way to do this is to grab the back of your shin. The preferred way to do this if you have a yoga strap is to put the strap around the ball of your foot. So that's like where that callus is underneath the big toe and hold on to the strap with your right hand. Put your left hand on your hip. Stretch your left heel away from your, you and your toes up. So basically pretend that you're standing on the floor. And focus on stretching your right heel up and your toes down so you're extending, stretching your calf muscle and your Achilles tendon. From here, let's move our leg out to the right. When this happens, we want to make sure that the hip doesn't come off the floor. So both hips are staying flat. I like to firmly press my left hand into my left hip just to make sure that everything's staying flat on the floor, facing the ceiling. Good. And let's move our leg back up. Use your core, bend your right knee, and let's switch sides. Let the left leg come in, put it around the ball of your foot, or grab with your peace finger or reach for the shin. You can also use a towel, whatever works, right? Hold on to the strap with your left hand, put your right hand on your hip. Stretch your right heel out and your toes up and your left heel up and your toes down. Focus on stretching that hamstring. If yours doesn't look like mine and it's like this and you're shaking, like that's, that's totally fine. <laughs> We're all at different places. Just never ever judge yourself, especially when you're learning something new. I've been doing this a long time, but I could tell you that there's a lot of things that I haven't done that I could work on. <laughs> okay, move your leg out to the left, and the right hand's gonna push into my hip to make sure that nothing comes off the floor. Let the inner thigh stretch. This might feel like a little tumultuous inside your body, if stretching doesn't always feel that good, just remind yourself it's for a cause, is to open up your body, take deep breaths. If you can learn to relax into the exhalation, that anxiety around it not feeling good slowly starts to go away. In time, it takes practice. Slowly bring your left leg back up, bend your knee, get rid of the strap, and bring both knees into your chest. Hmm. Bring your right arm over your head to the floor and roll to your right. Coming through the fetal position, which is basically just like rolling over like you're rolling over in bed. Left hand next to the chest on the floor. And then push down through your left palm. And we're gonna come into, what are we gonna come into? Downward facing dog. <laughs> Fingers are nice and spread. This is another chance to stretch out those legs. So pedal the heel. Find a place of stillness. Let's lift our left leg up to the sky. I want you to keep your hips squared though. So that means we don't want our hips to face out. We want our hips to face down. That means your leg might not come as high. Like mine doesn't go that high, but if I open my hip, it does, right? I call that cheating. So left hip all the way down. Stretch your right heel down to the floor. Push the floor away. And right, left leg down, right leg lifts up. Same thing, push the floor away, keep the hips squared, 
Stretch the left heel down. And right leg lowers down. Inhale, come to the top of a push-up position, a plank. Round your upper back. Pull your weight forward. Let's bend our elbows halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open the chest. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in. Exhale out. Breath in. And exhale out. Inhale, look at your hands, come to your tippy toes. Bend your knees, pull your chest towards your thighs, and then walk yourself forward. Fold all the way, come into ragdoll. So grab for opposite elbows. Sway side to side. Let your head relax down. Come to the top of a push-up position, a plank. Round your upper back. Pull your weight forward. Let's bend our elbows halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open the chest. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in. Exhale out. Breath in. And exhale out. Inhale, look at your hands, come to your tippy toes. Bend your knees, pull your chest towards your thighs, and then walk yourself forward. Fold all the way, come into ragdoll. So grab for opposite elbows. Sway side to side. Let your head relax down. And release your hands to the floor. Inhale, pull your chest forward, shoulders away from the ears. You can always lightly put your hands on shins. Exhale, fold. Let's do it again. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Ground your feet. Come up through standing. Bring your arms over your head. Press your palms. Hands come down through the center of your chest. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, fold forward, touch your hands to the floor. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, bring your left leg back. Arms sweep back, pull your chest forward. Keep the arms strong and the legs really strong. Eventually, you're going to lift this leg off the ground. So we want to focus on warming up those muscles in our legs. Stretch the arms, chest. Pulls forward. Now with one breath, bend the back leg and lift the arms all the way up. Nice. Exhale, bring your hands back down. Ready? Your right leg is going to scoop back to the left, lower halfway. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in. Exhale out. Breath in. And exhale out. Inhale, look at your hands, bend your knees, step forward to the top of your mat and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand up, arms up, press the palms. Hands come down through the center of your chest. Other side, lift the arms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fold, bring your right leg back. Arms sweep back. Chest pulled forward. Belly's toned, legs strong. Try even lifting your left toes off the floor. Just you want to make sure you're pushing through the sole of your foot, right? Belly is nice and tight. Try to keep those hips squared here. Glutes are squeezed. Now one breath, bend the back leg, lift the arms, and exhale, hands go down. Ready? Left leg goes back, lower halfway. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, down dog. Breath in, exhale out, breath in, and exhale out. Walk your hands back to your feet, fold. Reach your arms behind your legs. Grab for opposite elbows if you can, or reach behind your calf muscles and pull your upper body towards your lower body, so you're again getting that nice, long hamstring. Stretch.
and release your hands down to the floor. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. I'm going to change direction. Inhale, stand all the way up. Bring your arms up, press the palms. Hands come down through the center of your chest. Now you're into Dawson and take a step forward with your right leg and pick up your left leg. Now bend from your hips. Your hips are squared, your core is turned on. I'll do it from the side. This is called warrior three, except my arms are gonna stretch back. Ready? So pull the chest forward, concentrating on activating that balance, so quads. Now come into a tree pose, so feel that transition. Tree pose, you can either put your foot at the base of your calf, toes on the floor, heel up, or you can pull your heel all the way up. For today, I'm gonna put my foot right at the base of my calf. And then your hands go in prayer. Focus on one spot and grow your tree. Hmm. Feels good to move. Bring your hands down through prayer. Now, step forward with your left leg. Pick up your right leg and do the other side. Arms stretch back, pull your chest forward, keep the hips squared. Legs are strong. Let's come into tree pose. You can always use your hand to help, so grab your shin bone, pull the foot up. Try to keep your hips squared. So remember where we're going, we're gonna do what we started with. Grow your tree. And hands come down through prayer. Right leg forward. Put your... Hmm. Feels good to move. Bring your hands down through prayer. Now, step forward with your left leg. Pick up your right leg and do the other side. Arms stretch back. Pull your chest forward. Keep the hips squared. Legs are strong. Let's come into tree pose. You can always use your hand to help, so grab your shin bone, pull the foot up. Try to keep your hips squared. So remember where we're going, we're gonna do what we started with. Grow your tree. And hands come down through prayer. Right leg forward, put your foot down. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step back to a plank. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in. Exhale out. Breath in, and exhale out. Inhale, look at your hands, bend your knees, step or float forward. Inhale, half lift, and exhale, fold. Inhale, stand up, arms up, press the palms. Hands come down through the center of your chest, and stand into dasana. So let's try the Uttita Hasa Padagustasana. So grabbing your big toe with your peace fingers. Keep your left hand on your hip. Bring your right leg up to a bend. Grab on to the big toe. You can use a strap for this as well. Now pull your heel in towards your inner thigh. Keep the chest lifted. Keep the left hand on your hip. Take a breath in and exhale. Start to straighten your right leg out. Whew. Keep the chest lifted. If your right leg might not straighten, that's okay. Now move your right leg out to this side. Try to keep your hips facing the same way. Even stretch the left arm up, see if that feels good. Toes back. Now, bring the leg back through the center. Ooh. All right, let's let go and hold. Three, two, one, and fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand up, arms up, press the palms. Hands come down through the center of your chest, and let's try the other side. So, right hand on the hip, this is Ithaca. Pick up the left leg, peace fingers, big toe, palm faces away. Inhale, lift the chest, 
Exhale, straighten the leg. Keep the chest lifted, the hips face forward, and the leg goes out to the side. You want to keep the left hip facing the same way as the right hip, and even make sure they're in the same line with each other. Now bring your left leg back to the center. Let go and hold three. One leg is stronger than the other two. One, and fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, let put it in a flow. Bring your left leg back to that lunge you were in before. Arms sweep back, chest pulls forward. Take a breath in, and exhale, come into warrior three. From here, we come into the pose. So we put our right hand on our hip, grab for the big toe, lift the chest, and straighten the leg. Bring your leg out to the side, right arm can stretch out, and back through the center, let go, hold. We did the same leg twice, Woo. and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down, step back to a plank. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Breath in. And exhale out. Breath in. And exhale out. Inhale, look at your hands, bend your knees, step or float forward. Inhale, half lift, and exhale, fold. Inhale, stand up, arms up, press the palms. Hands come down through the center of your chest. Let's do the other side. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, left, right leg goes back to your lunge. Chest pulls forward, arms sweep back. Take a breath in. Exhale, warrior three. And come all the way into the pose. Left hand to hip, grab for your big toe, pull the chest up, and straighten your right leg. And the leg goes out, left arm goes out. And back through the center. And let go, hold. And flow, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down, step back. Lower halfway, inhale, up dog, and exhale, down dog. Big breath in, exhale out. Breath in, exhale out. Inhale, look at your hands, bend your knees, step or flip forward. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, stand up, arms up, press the palm, and hands come down through the center of your chest. Tadasana. Nice work. You did it. Namaste.